Thank you very much for that. Could we move on for the next point? Yeah. So this one is about the preservation of the Quran. Can I get everyone's position on your view of the preservation of the Quran? What's, what's the question? I'm not getting you. I'm asking what your view is on the preservation of the Quran. Do you believe that it's been preserved? And if so, what does it mean to be preserved? Obviously, you have a question. Go ahead and ask. What's your question? Yeah, I need to know your position before I can ask a question. So do you believe that the Quran has been preserved? And if so, what does that mean to you? Yes, the Quran has been preserved. It's a scripture. Okay, what else you want? Okay, what does what does preservation mean to you? Do you do you believe in like letter for letter preservation? What what do you believe in? This is semantic game. You like to play with us? Come on. I'm sorry. I didn't get that. As it was revealed to Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu salam. Till this day, the Quran stands preserved, unchanged, word for word, letter. Okay. But the hook I can predict to you, he's going to go to Sabat al Watch. Go ahead. Okay. Well, since you brought it up, since you brought up that, what does what does that mean, first of all? Can you tell me what that means? How did I guess Sabat that, Jay? Do you think I've been around the block the first time? 45 well, you, years you, nobody's come you, up with the argument before? You brought it up. Ever, you brought, you're the first one to come up with this new discussion? Yeah, so you brought it up. I'm just going by what you're saying. No, no, I was no, going to no, go no. somewhere you, else. Listen, your question again, I believe me, 45 years, I could smell a mischief okay. maker from 16 kilometers away, which equals 10 miles in imperial uh, systems, okay? But it, okay. it has been answered over and over and over again. If you had come with good faith, you would have found the answer of, okay. right now. And let me now ask you first, what do you understand from Ahara? Yeah, well, the Muslim consensus is that there's no answer. Muslims don't know what it means. You have over 30 opinions. Uh, Jalal al-Din Sayyuti says there are over 35 opinions for what Ahruf means. So what do you think Ahruf means since you brought it up? Yeah, Sheikh Mahdi, yeah, Sidi, go ahead and answer him because I am exhausted after yeah, six years, six hours. Actually, 45, okay. excuse me, 45 years and you don't know the answer to what Ahruf means? Listen, brother, you, I, honestly uh, speaking, uh, uh. you are coming up with a loaded question, which is a very easy answer. Before you, many others came digging a hole for themselves and falling in it, okay? Oh, it's holes. Right. Now, brother uh, Mandy, listen, holes listen, 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 calm down, listen, relax. Well, you mentioned brother, holes. Relax. I thought of Yasser Qadi, I thought relax. of Yasser Qadi when you said holes. Relax, Sorry. relax, no, please relax. relax. Brother Mehdi, go ahead. Hafz, Wesh, this Durian, etc. These are all known Qur'an that are actually are go all the way to the time of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There's even hadith regarding these Qur'an being historical and they were all uh, recited during the time of the Prophet Muhammad. Now, what's the question? Okay, so you believe that the ones you just mentioned, the, the specific readings you just mentioned, do you believe that those are the Ahruf? No, I, I, I'm not even going to tell you my full reading of it because you just want to be special. But these are the seven of the only authority, okay, that all existed from the time of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, and the most popular one of them is uh, is Hafs today. Okay, so is it so what, is it your position that this that the seven Ahruf are the seven Qiraat? Is that what you believe? I'm not, I'm, so, I'm just talking about Qiraat. You go and somebody ask somebody else about Ahruf. Oh, well, that's a, that's. I mean, uh, Abu Jamal brought up the uh, Ahruf, so I want to know what you guys think it means. Do you go and ask this? Well, I recognize the seven Qiraat, and that's that. Full stop. Okay, and you also mentioned that it goes back to a Hadith. So there's no Hadith that mentions anything about the Qiraat. Only this, only the Ahruf. If you want to be happy, you that there are actually seven Qiraat during the time of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and they all acknowledge during his lifetime. Oh. These are not things that can. Are, are you sure about that? You said uh, there's there's a yes. Hadith about the seven Qiraat. Yeah, the, yes, there are. There are. Do, uh, do any Muslims want to correct him? No, I'm, I'm sure. Not. Mr. 45 years, you want to correct him? Why don't you bring your evidence? Why don't you... Okay. Listen, Listen, little boy, Mr. J, you know what? Honestly, I'm right now not home, and I told before you appeared on the scene that I'm, I'm driving, and I'm walking, and I'm shopping. I'm getting signals sometimes not. And that's why I told Brother Mehdi to handle you, because I may miss some of the conversation going on, okay? okay. Otherwise, I have seen many of the little, little chickies like you come on and go. And believe me, this is nothing, not me, bigger than me, smaller than me. This question has been answered a thousand times over and over again. And believe me, your attitude, I mean, right now, 
anybody, if I behave like this in a Christian room, I'd have been thrown out a long time ago. But we'll show Wait. you what Muslims are, we'll tolerate. Okay. Put your charge forward. Just look, we'll stop asking us silly questions. Just put your charge forward and tell us what the issue is. Well, and does that mean, well, with, okay. So, so different, right. Muslim, different Muslims believe different things about the Qur'an and the Ahruf. So I need to know your specific positions before I can go further. There's only one belief about the Qur'an. No, there's, there's not only one belief about the Qur'an. There's only one belief. The Quran, the Quran was revealed upon seven, seven ahruf means seven dialects. Oh, those are example, dialects. It's, for example, the word heat, hate, heat. The word hate, hate alak, heat alak. Yeah, upon the seven dialects, this is one of the miracles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he revealed the Quran in seven dialects meaning the word itself is the same word pronounced upon seven dialects of seven tribes yeah so you got for example al-mu'minin and al-mu'minun al-kafirin and al-kifirin and so on it goes it's okay all... so or in you your, believe... one, one second jack one second or in your if you since i'm from muslim from x and you're from the united states in usa schedule right the schedule right this class schedule train schedule british call it Schedule. Which one is it? Schedule or schedule? Okay, perfect. So I just want to make sure I understand because there's three different people talking. I don't know if you all believe the same thing or not. So do you all believe that the Ahruf are just different dialects and that these dialects are also the Qur'at? Is that, is that what you guys believe? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> So the only Are difference you... is between, for example, Hafs and Warsh, for example, the only difference between them is dialect. There's no meaning, like if one word doesn't mean something else in the other reading. Is They're just different dialects? Is that what you believe? Absolutely not. Oh, not. So they're not just dialects. They are just dialects. I just said to you, they are dialects. Okay, but... Right? Accents. Yeah, the so so word, if that's the case, the same spelling pronounced pronounced slightly differently from a tribe to another tribe. And so I you think an do you think that they're do you think I, that they're I, also, I think I think I understand where he's uh, what's okay. his point? Yeah, he's heading to Malik so, versus Malik. I think. Let him come. Let him come. I, I think I, I think I do let, understand let your point. Okay. Okay. I think I do. Let him, I think I think I let, go ahead. Let him attempt. Let him attempt to demolish Islam. Islam is the most rising religion in the whole world and the most standing religion in the whole world. Everyone is no, knows that Islam is not going to be defeated. Not militarily, okay. Okay. Not, not, by, not by argument, not by any other means. Islam withstands and is- By the truth, by truth. In on the earth. By truth, okay. That's so, uh, so, uh, so I, I just want to hear the other- Just, just before, yeah, you, before go ahead. you go ahead, I'm sorry. Before you go, go ahead, uh, I think I do understand your point. Your point is, does these dialects doesn't have different uh, meanings in the in the readings? Is that what you were saying, right? If if that's yeah, I just want to know if that's what they mean okay, by different so, dialects. So let, let me let me let me explain to you very quickly. So so for example, I'll give you a very good example. The verse that says, "Odina lilladina yuqa taluna bi annahum zulimu, wa anna Allah ala nasrihim la qadir." That's riwayat hafs. Odina lilladina yuqa taluna, the one that is being um th that is being fought or the, the one that is being attacked uh -huh. Adam which means Allah uh, gave them uh, permission to fight back right so that's one 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 way of uh, of reading it in riwayat for example qaluna uh, an it says adina lilladina yuqatiluna the one who fights then God here permits the one who fights. Then we have to, now two different, right. I would say two different meanings. N not not meaning dialects is, though, right? No, 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 but let me, let, me, let me just explain my point very, very quickly. So the first meaning it says, Allah permits the one that is being attacked to fight back. The other meaning says, Allah uh, permits the ones who are uh, fighters to fight back right 
But the thing is, with all these readings, there is no contradictions in the meaning. Okay. So one of the God miracles that he can uh, he can reveal the Quran in, in, in seven different readings and seven different dialects that might contain a change of the meaning slightly without contradicting each other, without contradicting. So it can't contradict each other. There is no contradiction. And I can challenge you with that. So if you can bring me two dialects or two readings that contradict each other in the meaning, then uh, then we can move forward with your question. Also, okay. by the way, I'm very so, sorry. Before you, before you proceed, Jay, I was driving, so I couldn't hear exactly everything you said. Maybe this was already mentioned. But I would just to tell you one thing. This Sabah al where has been maintained from day one since the Rasulullah time. It's nothing that happened as occurred as a result of some corruption of the Quran like happened in the Bible. No, they have been, why did, why would even Muslims protect, preserve all seven of them from day one until today? Okay. Think about that first before you go further, because yeah. that itself is the answer for people who come to attack Sabat Aharuf. Okay, but if it was repeated, it was said already, okay. so I apologize for repeating it, but I may be in and out, so I may miss something the brothers may have already said. But, okay, Jamal. so can, can, can I just respond before everybody, because it's not fair if everyone can, can I go? You can, but I'm just gonna, uh, for a reason, just not to be controversial. Okay. I'm not gonna give you my word the reading of what you're saying, so I'm gonna keep quiet for a moment just in case some of the Shia and Sunni brothers come and start attacking me because there is a wider reading that you can actually uh, effectively mute the entire subject from the Quran, but I'll leave that for myself for now. Okay, so a couple of things. First, the claim is that the... I, okay, so now we have a little bit uh, of a wider variety of speakers, so I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. So does everybody agree that the Ahruf are the Qiraat? Or do we disagree on that? Qiraat, readings, dialects. Understand? The miracle... Hold, hold on there, hold, hold on. Could you, could you just wait? Um, the Qiraat, the miracle that the Prophet وسلم, Muhammad, the final passage, uh, messenger, messenger and Prophet of Allah, when different tribes that he never lived with approached him, read to them the Quran in their dialect, in their accent. Isn't that amazing? Exactly the same spelling mm -hmm. of the word pronounced as you say, for example, for example, in English, they say rose, rose, rouse, you know, R-O-S-E. How do you pronounce them? Okay. Many different ways. Yeah, so, so it seems you have a different understanding than the previous speaker. So for you, the guy who was just speaking, I did, sorry, I didn't see your name. Uh, but do you believe that the only differences between these different readings, like huffs, waters, etc., are only uh, pronunciation between the same spelling? Or are you aware that there are actually spelling variants between these as well? So I already answered this question. Yeah, but the and other I, I, guy. I don't think I don't think I'm, I'm not pretty sure if you understand. My, yeah, no, I, I, I got no. You, you, yeah, I understood you, but I just, the other, the previous guy before me. I want to see right. if he's you, on the you same can, page. You can have a conversation with me at the moment. So okay. if, if you don't mind, I already answered this sure. question. So move, move forward with the next. Okay. Question. Okay. So, so yeah. So my question for you is, do you believe that these different readings that we have are the seven ahruf? Yes, I do. Okay. Can you tell me why you believe that? Because it was mentioned from Prophet Muhammad that he... Uh, say that again. There is no variation in the spelling. The variation... Uh, there is. I can give you no verses if you want. Come on. Show me. Okay. Uh, maybe I can message you privately. I'm not sure how to... I'm kind of new to this application, so no, I don't no, know how to give... Yeah, yeah. No, you give me, you give me, uh, since you brought it up in public and yeah. in open, uh -huh. come up with it, please. Yeah, I, I have it. I'll I have it. it. You regard it as a liar and a time waste. Yeah, I have it. So, for, for example, just off the top of my head, there are some 
uh, like and Hafs and Warsh, you can have the difference. Some of them will read the word as Kathir, and the other one will read it as Kabir. So this is a different. These are different letters. Okay, okay. so we're, so we're, it, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, brother Jay. I think uh, my point was very clear. My point was very, very, very clear. I'm aware of what you're yeah. saying. And my it point seems you are aware, but you will, the other you will, ones you will, aren't aware. You will, have, you will have exactly the same meaning. Okay. And there is no contradictions in the verse itself, neither the meaning. Okay, but you, you're so at a different level. The... You're at a different level than these other people. I want to make sure we're all on the same page. Otherwise, me and you are going to be having a conversation that not everyone is following. Can we have the a reference? Reference of the and verse, I, please, and the word. And where is the writing source? By the way, and I, I actually I choose not to talk about this because I'm going to be controversial, and because I will go directly to Quran and actually prove the case. But I don't want to be controversial. Earlier, I was talking about the stoning issue, and I had to be a controversy, so I'm going to keep quiet on controversial issues. But there is an answer, an emphatic answer in the Quran as to this issue scenario. But I leave the other brothers to go with the tradition. Right, so brother Jay, did you hear my answer? Brother Jay? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I just changed my profile picture for the guy who was asking for reference. So everyone can just, I don't know if it updated or not, but um, I... Yeah, but uh, I think it's cropped, so we, we, we can't actually uh, see the... It's too yeah. small. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, uh, pixelated probably. Okay, um, any okay, so I, I'll be able to send the reference another by another means. But uh, for, so you were about to say that you believe that the hadith mentioned these different qur'at, is that, is that right? Yeah, so what I was trying to say there, and I, that's what I'm repeat. I'm repeating myself basically right now. So what I'm trying to say is that there is no contradictions and there is no change of the meaning. So if you can bring contradictions or change of the meaning, then you have a point, but there is no point there because there is no contradiction in the meaning or change. Can you guys hear me? You hear me? Okay, sorry about that. For something uh, glitched or something happened. I wasn't able to hear the last part of what he said. Uh, something about contradictions, but I just wanted to know specifically, do you believe that this the, the Qur'at are the Ahruf from the Hadith or, or not? Before we can move on to whether the contradictions or not. Okay, maybe he had to step away. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, so, Abu Jamal, are you still there? I know he said he was he was driving, so I uh, just wanted to see. If he was there, because I wanted to respond to something that he said earlier. Sorry, everybody. I think my my line dropped. Um, yeah, I'm not pretty yeah. sure. I'm not pretty sure if if you heard what I was saying. I was saying you would have a point if there was a contradiction in the meaning or a change of the meaning. Then there would be a point. But there is no point because there is no contradictions in the meaning. So um, now to be very clear, uh, uh, Rasulullah when a Sahabi came to him and he asked him that I've heard another Sahabi, I've heard another companion reading the verse differently than the way I hear it. Then the Prophet Muhammad said, that's how it was revealed mm -hmm. to me and it was he repeated it three times so we yeah. can clearly see that the seven readings it was revealed to the prophet muhammad with the seven readings 
So okay. there is no change. Uh, there is no contradictions and meanings. That's what I was trying to say. And it, it was revealed exactly with the seven different readings. I hope that answers okay, the question. So, so, so just to be 100% clear on this, you believe that the seven Aharuf are the seven Qur'at. You, that's what you believe? I already answered this question. You do? Okay. So how do you deal with people like Ibn Jazari, for example, who added three other um, readings to Ibn Mujahid's seven? So now there are 10 Qur'at, are these also the seven Ahruf or uh, like in your view, how do you explain that? Okay, so in my view, usually in any case like this in Islam, we take by Jumhur al-Ulama or the majority of the scholars. What the majority of the scholars say is what we follow. We don't go ahead like and some some scholars might might make mistakes because they are human beings at the end of the day. So if if most and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. So I was yeah. saying if majority and most and 99% of the scholars agree on something and then there is one scholar that is basically disagreeing then we go with the majority of the scholars. Okay. So what do you think the majority of scholars say? Because the majority of scholars don't actually say that the seven Ahruf are the seven Qur'at. Uh, Jalal al-Din Sayuti, for example, said that people only believe that in ignorance because when Ibn Mujahid took the seven Qur'at, it had seven Qur'at and people thought, oh, there's a hadith about seven Ahruf, so it must be seven Qur'at. But he said that was based on ignorance. That's not the case. So I don't know if you're aware of the Muslim position on this or not, the majority view. We are you aware, my brother, and I told you that majority of the scholars do agree that the seven Qur'at or the seven readings or the seven Ahruf are the ones who were, were revealed upon the Prophet Muhammad the way it was, the way it's read right now. Um, it doesn't have any contradiction in the meaning, and and until now, I don't actually get your point. Okay, because in in for for the seven Qur'at. There is no contradictions. So can you please tell yeah. me your point? What's the what's exactly the point that you're trying to make? Well, because there are different. So initially there are seven, uh, there are seven Qur'at, but then that's expanded to 10 later on. So if you're familiar, by the way, if you look at it, because, uh, by the way, I don't want to talk and uh, give my full uh, assessment of this from the Quran, but I agree with the brother, everything he said so far, there's a deeper assessment. Uh, and so, can see, oh, brothers, oh, oh, this, uh, this gentleman is not what? talking about the content and the meaning of the Quran. It doesn't make yeah. any difference to yeah. him. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I can bring the up the content. He, I just he, need to know he, the positions. He, he, yeah, the position he, is he, that, that... No, 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 you are, come to the point. Are called Shahzad. They're called you Shahzad. You come to the point. They're called, there's a name for them. It's called Shahzad, basically. Yeah, Shahzad. 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 Come, yeah. come okay. to the main no. point that you're trying to come up. That, that you're trying to make. Well, yes, come th to the, the point that I'm trying to make, very similar to the point that uh, uh, Sheikh Yasser Qadi made, is that there are holes in the narrative in regards to the relationship between the Ahruf and Qur'at according to the traditional Muslim understanding. Who is that? Sorry? Sheikh Yasser Qadi. He doesn't have a clue, obviously, on the matter. And who is he? Like, who is he? Like, who is he? Like, are recited by communities. They don't need to go by Sheikh X or Sheikh Y. They're already recited amongst them. You don't know who Sheikh Yasser Qadi is? I know. I know. Him. I, know I don't know. Can you can you introduce to us who he is? You join with a man who needs no introduction at all. Someone who has done it all in Dawah, has been in the East and has been in the West, has acquired, as I say, more degrees than a thermometer. Dr. Yasser Qadi, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. That, that phrase really tickles me. He embarrassed himself basically because he thought that he didn't have a clue what's going on. But anyway, that's a, I'm not going to go into the deeper subject of, uh, of okay. Yasser Qadi. And all so Mahdi knows who he is. Um, I'm sure Abu Jamal knows who he is as well. Uh, uh, Mahdi, Mahdi, what, what knowledge does this uh, guy have that he's bringing as an evidence to he judge was, the Quran? He was a former uh, uh, Salafi brother who kind of left out of Salafism, then become a bit dubious and I don't know whether it's for attention seeking or not. He had a, a so-called private debate of, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, what's his name today? Muhammad. Hijab. Muhammad Hijab. 
I'm a dad. Yeah. And then they publicized. I don't know whether they were seeking attention or what have you. Showed that they were ignorant on the subject. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, 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 one second. But, uh, Brother Laas, I think uh, he's not Ali. He himself, Yasser Qadi. I think that was the last I heard, Yasser Qadi. I just came back in the uh, signal. But, uh, yeah, Yasser Qadi, he's just a speaker. One of those guys. No, he's a he's he's sheikh. To be and he's, it doesn't yeah, matter. Sheikh. All sheikh. Sheikh. He's, he's a sheikh. sheikh. He has hijaz. Uh, I think, my, I think my, you need my to... My children call me sheikh too. Sheikh is the old no, no, person. No, no, no. He has hijaz from University of Medina. I, I think you need, to first, you need to first understand, I'm, I'm very, very sorry guys, but you, you need to first understand how we Muslim, uh, or who we consider scholar, a Muslim scholar, right? Uh, I'm sorry, but this, uh, the Asir al-Qadi, with all due respect, which uh, most of Muslims know nothing about him, um, he's, he, he cannot be a, a Muslim scholar who would actually say that this is that and this is not that and whatever. We can have different opinions. It doesn't, um, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have an opinion on the issue anyway. The Yasser Qadi is, uh, is a man, inshallah, mm -hmm. give him wisdom. He's lots, made some blunderous mistakes. And, uh, he, the one he, the you agree wait, he's wait, a sheikh though, right? I don't, I don't acknowledge his sheikh. I, I okay. but, but he, he has ijazah. You don't have to say ijazah. Just mention these words willy-nilly without knowing what they are. Okay. Okay, Sorry, do, do you know how many people in the world has ijaza? Uh, you know, yes, you know how, but he, he's qualified as a scholar. No, 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 he's not. There's nothing. He, he, there's writes, he, writes, oh fat, he writes fatwas. Can, can I he ask you one question to Jay? Jay. Can, can, I, can, Jay? I get, can I get a fatwa from Abu Jamal? Can I get a fatwa from one of you? Most of the you fatwa the ijaza, I have ijaza in, okay? But Yasser Qadi, when did he claim he has ijaza in Qaraat or Aruf? He didn't. Do you no. know he just, he just did he tell you? Or he yes. Talked yes. Find out what he, okay. 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 No big deal. Okay. Yeah, I said, so what? You, I, could get, I could get you some Christian scholars who actually are Christian and they believe that the Bible has got nothing to do with God. Uh, would that, would that no, you, Bible? you couldn't do that. But, uh, okay. I, I, could, I, I, could, I could do okay. it locally. I know some locally. Uh, listen, if, you could, if you're going to so use Yasser Qadi as your strongest evidence, he himself will tell you no. That, don't. That's not my strongest evidence. I was making reference to him on the point that I'm making okay, with you guys. Okay, bring your strongest evidence. Yes. So, well, the evidence, I think it's been presented so far that you guys don't really know the difference between the Qur'an and a Haruf. And that's the entire point I'm trying to make. You're claiming that the Qur'an is preserved. You're claiming that the Qur'an is preserved, but you don't even know what the Qur'an is. No, no, we, we know it's better than you. With all due respect, we know it better than you and it better than some of the other people. But anyway, since you're appealing to authority, tell us what Yasir Ghadi said. And yes. what was his evidence? Go on. Yes. I'll tell you what, okay. what he said. But I'm not yeah. really, so, so his major his major point that he was making was that this has created doubt in Islam since the very beginning. The hadith that you mentioned earlier with Ubay, Ubay, when he heard this other person reciting a verse from the, a chapter from the Quran, he brought him to Muhammad and he said, Muhammad taught me this way, and I heard this guy say it this way, and Muhammad said, No, I taught both ways, and then Ubay said, Ubay said that. Uh, doubt entered into my heart more so than even before, you know, the days of Jahiliyyah. And, and what? So these are all just things some people claim so, that the Wait, wait, wait. So, so doubt has good. always entered the Muslim heart when they found oh, out no, that there are multiple versions of the Quran. Jay, you need to let the Mahdi answer because when you speak, his voice dies out. Now, from now on, if you do not, once he's talking, if you don't mute your mic, we'll have to mute your mic for you because you're talking over him. It, it, it subdues his voice. Okay, Mandy needs to answer you. Let him answer. Show some respect. You ask a question. Let him finish the answer. Now, please be quiet until he finishes. Until Mandy tells you I'm done, you start after that. Okay. <laughs>